Hey, good afternoon, more Medic One. Today I have a Troy built uh, push mower on the bench, uh, model 210, and uh, it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine on it. The engine runs, but it backfires through the carburetor and pops through the muffler, and it pulls the rope out of your hand whenever you go to crank it. That was the complaint. I suspect that it's got a partially sheared flywheel key, so let's go ahead and pull this flywheel holding nut off of here. It's a 15 sixteenths, and let's just take a look. I'm going to take you off of the tripod here. Hope I don't make you too sick. Hey cowboy, what are you doing? And let's rotate this around. Let's see, if, can you see that? See how that's sheared just ever so little bit? That much will cause it to run like poo-poo. So let's go ahead and get this flywheel off of here and replace this key. And uh, we'll see how it runs. To get this flywheel off, uh, you may have a different method than I use. What I like to do is tap the two holes that are actually here in the flywheel themselves with a quarter 20 tap. You don't have to be super precise, but you do kind of want to get it halfway straight. And what this does is going to tap the holes for your uh, flywheel puller. The Briggs and Stratton flywheel puller that you buy from Briggs and Stratton the screws are self tapping but I still like to run a tap down in here just in case it might catch a thread and split the flywheel in two that wouldn't be very good now if I can just find my other bolt there it is Thread it down on in there. Hit it one time with your impact just to be safe. just go ahead and start turning this forcing screw and pull this flywheel off of here. I believe it's a 9 16 A lot of times when the flywheel key shears oops it will uh, swedge that flywheel key in between the flywheel and the crankshaft and it's hard to get off but this one seemed to come off okay here's that flywheel key as a matter of fact it's still intact but it's uh it's about sheared all the way in two so we'll get a new flywheel key and we'll put it on we'll see how it runs well <laughs> in all of my arsenal of parts and tools and stuff i did not have a flywheel key I had to order one or go get me some they don't come individually packaged anymore you have to buy three so the average homeowner you're going to be out three bucks for a flywheel key so be warned i don't know why they wouldn't sell me a single flywheel key they said they didn't stock them like that anymore so it's kind of weird used to buy a flywheel key for 25 cents now they're a buck a piece what you want to do is uh, be sure you, the mating surfaces of the crankshaft is clean and dry of oil also you want to make sure the flywheel mating surface is also clean just kind of get everything situated and halfway lined up there Take your flywheel key and put it in the hole. Wiggle it back and forth and it'll fall right down in there. Take your screwdriver or a punch. 
and you don't have to be too rough with it but just kind of just tap it on down in there and use my brass drift punch here and just till it stops take your starter cup and the flywheel nut Get it run down and we'll torque it to 55 foot pounds. There it is. Uh, two or three times ought to be enough. So. We'll get it buttoned all back together here and we'll see how she runs. set your RPMs to about 3250 and uh, it ought to be good to go if you have any questions on how to replace the flywheel key on a Briggs & Stratton engine let me know more medic one have a good day